Okay. So in the previous videos, I've talked about the left semi join and left anti join. So um, in this video, I'll be talking about the right join or right outer join. So I have this data frame here. It has the ID, employee name, and department number, and I have the uh, second data frame that has the department number and department name. You can see the last department, which is uh, department number one, you can find that department number in the employee table. So when I did uh, left semi join, um, the return data frame it stays. So it basically return the uh, matching record in the left. Uh, table right and the left anti join what left anti join does is instead of um, returning the uh, matching record in the left data frame it returns the records that are not matching so and what I want to do now is uh, perform um right join so the right join we return the right table so put it simply, the right outer join return the all the records in the right table and all the matching records in the left table. Any record in the left table that is not matching uh, will be populated with non values. So you will see it in this example. So let me create a new data frame. So I'll call this one right join. So say employee df dot join apartment df. So uh, since the join column is the same in both table, I'm going to use a sequence instead of uh, using this method. You can go for this. If if the columns are different, you can go for this, right? Um, but if they are the same. If I just use sequence. So I say the chunk type is right. You can say right outer like this, or you can write it like this, right outer. So I say right chunk dot show force. So I will run this now. Now, this is the returned table. So you can see we have the uh, department number, we have the ID, we have the employee name and the department name. So um, you can see, if you look at the white table here, we have uh, four department numbers, right? So the Department number four, two, six, they are all available here in the employee table. But the department number one is not there. So that is why here you can see the ID is not for the employee table right? when, when we perform the join, right? The ID is not the employee name is going to be none as well. So that's why we have none here. And this, so this is the result of the uh, right join or right outer join. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the comment. Have a lovely day and goodbye.